What's up guys, Mike from Rockville, and today we are looking at the wiring configuration for one single voice coil 2 ohm subwoofer. There's really only one simple wire configuration that you can do with a single voice coil 2 ohm subwoofer, so let me show you that. But first, let's check the resting impedance on our subwoofer. So I have my multimeter here, so I'm going to take my negative probe, go directly into the negative terminal and take my positive probe and go directly into my positive terminal. And on the multimeters, you can see that these terminals are reading a 2.1 ohm load, which we would consider a 2 ohm subwoofer. And there's only one set of terminals on the subwoofer, which is why it's considered a single voice coil subwoofer. So the wiring configuration is very simple for a subwoofer like this. You're basically going from the negative black terminal to the negative terminal on your amplifier and from the red positive terminal of your subwoofer to the positive terminal on your amplifier. Now, in many cases, you're going to put your subwoofer into an enclosure, and on this enclosure in particular, I actually have a set of wires already running to these terminals on the side of the amplifier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my positive wire, run it directly into my positive terminal on my subwoofer, and I'm going to take my negative and run it directly into the black terminal on my subwoofer. Now, once you have this, you're going to set the subwoofer into your enclosure. Now those wires were running directly to these terminals on the side of the amplifier and then what I would do is run speaker wire from this set of terminals to my amplifier. So I'd go from the red terminal to the positive on my amplifier and from the black terminal to the negative on my amplifier. And if we actually want to check that we're not losing any impedance, we can take our probe, black probe, into the negative terminal on the side of the enclosure, and I could go my red probe into the positive side. And you can see this set of terminals is also providing that two ohm load, which is going to go directly to your amplifier. Now, when you have your subwoofer wired in this configuration, the most important thing is to make sure that you are matching your subwoofer with the correct amplifier. So when you have your sub wired in this way, you can match the subwoofer with any amplifier that is capable of running the rated power of the subwoofer at two ohms. Now, the most common option is probably to use a two ohm stable monoblock amplifier. But another great option is to use a 1 ohm stable amplifier running at 2 ohms. If you use a 1 ohm stable amplifier running at 2 ohms, you are actually going to run more efficiently and your amp's going to run cooler, which is going to save your car battery. You will actually also hear increased sound quality because your amp is running cooler. I hope you guys found this video helpful on how to wire a single voice coil 2 ohm subwoofer. But again, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to our customer tech support team through phone or email. As always, guys, I'm Mike from Rockville. I'll see you next time.